Welcome to video six. This is the cone point. This one's probably the closest to using a ballpoint pen just because of its shape. And that nice shape actually makes it really easy to make lines that are fairly straight. Then I went and did curves. It was also pretty easy to use. There really wasn't much touch up that I had to do when I was doing the curves. Just like using a ballpoint pen, I felt like this handled circles really well. Again, there wasn't a whole lot of touch up. Every now and again, if I was slow in a spot, it does bleed a little bit, uh, but that was fairly easy to touch up. Dots were probably the easiest to do with this tip, being able to get the different sizes. This one, I think you get a lot more control on the size and the consistency of the shape. So I would definitely recommend this one for stippling and pointillism. I liked this one okay for the cursive lettering. Um, it wasn't my favorite, but it was good. And definitely with some practice, this could look fabulous. And it definitely works for outlining the bold block lettering, but um, you don't get as fine of an edge and I don't love filling it in. So I wouldn't use this regularly for block lettering. And please forgive the camera angle on this. I didn't realize I'd chopped it off until after I was editing the video. And for shading, this was really not the tip. I really wanted to get a nice angle, but every time that I tried to do that, the barrel would touch the wood. So this one is really better if you're gonna use something like crosshatch, but not good for like gradient style smooth shading. In the end, I would say the cone point is best used for straight lines, especially for dots. It's great for curves and for circles. It's okay for lettering, and I'd pick a different tip for that shading. And that, my friends, is it for the cone point. Make sure to stay tuned for the next point. Hit the like and subscribe if this was helpful. Hit the bell button so you don't miss a video, and we'll see you on the next one.